Hey everybody, welcome to Cinebinge. My name is Simone, and this is George, and this is my cat, and this is where we watch movies and television, and we are even on Patreon. Over there you get to vote on what we watch, which is really nifty. You also get full access to everything we've ever shot, which is like unedited, unedited full-length reactions mm -hmm. to stuff, and you also have exclusive stuff like avatar the last airbender and the boys season two yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and we are uh, back today watching back to the future uh-huh uh -huh. yeah i i had trouble saying that name for a bit back, back to, to the, the future. future yes um this cool. is cool cool i think our second no third uh time travel-y movie this i know time... this is about time travel -y. yeah back to the future doy yeah sorry <laughs> Okay, and it is uh, 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 the director's uh, Robert Zemeckis, and it was written by Robert Zemeckis and Bob Gale. Huzzah! Good job. Uh, I think Robert Zemeckis is also responsible for Forrest Gump, right? Zemeckis? No, that's that? Darabont. Dar no, what? what? Hold on. We did Forrest Gump. I thought it was Zemeckis. <laughs> I'm googling as well now. We're we're gonna cut this out, right? Forrest Gump. No, no, no yeah. Forrest oh. Gump is Robert Zemeckis. Oh, cool. Yeah. Wow. The name sounded familiar because I couldn't figure out how to pronounce it, so then I had to look into it. Eventually, going to watch all the directors. Mm. Um, I was going to say discography, but that's not. That's for, like, music. Filmography. Filmography. hey <laughs> <laughs> Um. Okay, so I usually look for the poster, you know, before we shoot because, like, to prepare all the material for editing. Yeah. Uh, people can tell me on the internet, is Rick and Morty's design based on this movie? Because they look very similar. Like, there's, like, a guy with, like, big crazy hair, old guy, and then there's, like, a young, kind of dorky-looking kid. Is this where it's from? Yes, internet, tell us. Yeah, tell us. I, I don't know why I'm waiting, like, somebody's going to <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you, you'll tell us in the comments, but I think, uh... right, because they look visually very similar. Okay, so that's cool. I'm curious. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Wanna wanna watch a thing? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> the missing plutonium was in fact stolen from their vault two weeks Ooh, ago. Oh. A Libyan terrorist group had claimed responsibility for the alleged theft. Okay, seems like this house is a huge fire hazard. Yeah. Um, but uh, the do-nothing machines. Like things roll and hit a thing and move another thing and... I mean, this seems to be doing something. I know, but it's it's the same sort of yeah. thing. One thing affects Cat. another thing, which causes another thing. Oh, dog food. Oh, Ugh. that's gross. Oh, oh, no. No, that looks like my high school lunch. Cafeteria food. Oh. Yeah, so not the terrorist group. Or is the character in this house a terrorist? <laughs> I don't know. What is he doing? What is this the time machine? <laughs> he just comes into someone's house and start turning things up. Oh no. That's Oh it's a speaker. <laughs> oh your ears gonna blow out if that's the bass noise. <laughs> oh my oh god. Oh my god <laughs> no. Don't stand no. in front of it, your organs are gonna shatter. Oh god. <laughs> oh. He's so young. Can you meet me at Twin Pines Mall tonight at 1.15? I've made a major breakthrough and I'll need your assistance. Wait. Oh, God. Are you telling me that it's 8.25? Precisely. Yes, this is amazing. It's so 80s. Oh, yeah. It's so 80s. Don't the same. <laughs> it's uh, very upbeat. Uh, very simple. <laughs> well, it was a simpler time. You've got a real attitude problem, McFly. You're a slacker. You remind me of your father when he went here. He was a slacker, Jeez. too. No McFly ever amounted to anything in the history of Hill Valley. That's so... Oh, he's it's nose touched. Who talks to someone like that, especially a student? God, he is a dick. I say, hey, you goofy-looking, baldy-headed fuck. No excuse for running around looking like a freshly circumcised dick. <laughs> That jean jacket is epic. Oh, wrong audience. Hmm. I'm afraid you're just too darn loud. <laughs> you should have seen the other speaker. Does your mom know about tomorrow night? Oh, get out of town. My mom thinks I'm going camping with the guys. 
Well, Jennifer, my mother would freak out if she knew I was going up there with you, and I get the standard lecture about how she never did that kind of stuff when she was a kid. I mean, look, I think the woman was born a nun. <laughs> Save the clock tower! Save the clock tower! Where were we? <laughs> right about here. Jennifer! <laughs> oh my god. Jeez. Orgy American style. I know, style. I was just reading that. <laughs> what is that? Interesting. <laughs> Loan me a car without telling me it had a blind spot. That your uh, insurance is going to pay for the damage? Well, my insurance. It's your car. Your insurance should pay for it. I, I want to know who's going to pay for this. Oh, my God. I see. Hello, anybody home? Oh, uh, think, McFly. Right. Think. This guy sucks. And the dad is a bit spineless. Would you? Oh, of course not, Biff. Now I wouldn't want that to happen. Dude, stand up yeah. for yourself. Oh my god. Your car towed all the way to your house, and all you got for me is light beer? <laughs> what are you looking at, butthead? He sounds like he's like 15. <laughs> Afraid I'm just not very good at confrontations. Get the car, Dad. Uh, that's not confrontation. That's just standing up for yourself, man. Don't be a doormat. Yeah, but also like I know, and all I can say is I'm I'm sorry. Any chat with like any insurance company would be like, that guy was drunk driving. Yeah. <laughs> What's with the laugh? <laughs> We're gonna have to eat this cake by ourselves. Your Uncle Joey didn't make parole again. Jesus. <laughs> again with cakes. Yeah, a lot of cakes in the 80s or movies or whatever. Mm -hmm. Woo! Come on, time to change that oil. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> he's so ridiculous. It's laugh. It's the laugh and like the body movement. Like he's so like, I don't know, it's so great. It's very exaggerated. Yeah. It's terrible. Girls chasing boys. When I was your age, I never chased a boy or called a boy or it'll just happen. Like the way I met your father. That was so stupid. Grandpa hit him with the car. <laughs> it was meant to be. <laughs> so she just married the first guy that showed up. And it was then that I realized that I was going to spend the rest of my life with him. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> oh, my Clearly God. not I... a happy marriage. Mm. <laughs> Oh, your poor neck. It, it, or arm. How do you sleep like that? Hey, Einstein, where's the dog, yeah, boy? Einstein. Huh? <laughs> Is this a time machine? <laughs> Does a Terminator come out? Ooh. I see a red light. Marty, you made it. Yeah. Welcome to my latest experiment. This is a big one, the one I've been waiting for all my life. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26, 1985, 1.18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Oh, the car is the time machine. And he's sending the dog? The Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Get that thing hooked up to the car. Watch. Oh, okay, he's got a, okay. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. <laughs> okay. 141 kilometers, okay? <laughs> That's really fast. Jesus. <laughs> oh my god, he's so chaotic. <laughs> Jesus! The thermal displacement occurred exactly 1.20 a.m. It's zero seconds! Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. How did they get him back, though? One minute into the, the dog the camp. Exact Oh, one minute into the future. Oh. So they'll just show up a minute from now? Oh, okay. Are you telling me that you built a time machine <laughs> out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, <laughs> if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? <laughs> Look out! <laughs> right, because that was the spot the car disappeared at. Yeah. Wow. So dangerous. Is the dog okay? Is the fourth dimension really cold? Why? What is it hot? It's cold. Damn <laughs> cold. <laughs> Comfort and nice. What do you think? <laughs> this readout tells you where you're going. This one tells you where you are. This one tells you where you were. Well, witness the birth of Christ. <laughs> 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 
I was standing on the edge of my toilet, hanging a clock. The porcelain was wet. I slipped, hit my head on the edge of the sink. And when I came to, I had a revelation. This is what makes time travel possible. The flux capacitor. I, I genuinely thought this movie was going to be about him inventing it. Mm. I didn't think it was just going to be available right away. That was the group that claimed responsibility, right? Right. Oh, God. Okay. Uh... This is taking a turn I didn't expect. I know, this is way more intense than I... Oh. Is he gonna, like, accidentally go He's... back in time? Yeah, yeah. And then it's set to, um, to when the... What's-his-face invented time travel. Like, does he sh show up and then accidentally hit, crash into his house or whatever, and then that's how he <laughs> hit his head, and then that's how he invents time travel, because he's oh, gonna go I back see. in time and then hits him or something. Right, Cause right, Because he right, said right. he fell or something, like, smack his head on the toilet, right? Yeah. Like, does his car show up <laughs> at his house and then just, like, crash into his toilet? Through his bathroom? Oh, oh there we go. The door opens like the thing on the. <laughs> oh, he's in the suit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the, yeah, that's where his house was, but it's not even built yet. The Lion Estates thing. When he his house. Yeah, when he was skateboarding home, those like lion things were there. Oh. But they were like all graffitied and old and stuff. Listen, you gotta help me. Stop, Wilbur! Stop! <laughs> what? What? That's more like what you do today if someone tries to stop you on the road. Like, get away from me, but in the 50s? Yeah. Like... His head's showing. It's not like he was in the suit. Yeah. Was the doc able oh, to right. get more plutonium into the vehicle? No. No. He got, he, he got shot he before. He remembered it, and then he got shot immediately. Shit. So he's stuck. Oh, okay. That explains the title of the movie. He needs oh, to get to go back, back to, to the, the future. future. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Mr. Oh man, I gotta play some Fallout after this. Oh, it's not broken. Why? Because it got. Was it struck by lightning? Yeah, yeah. Hey kid, what'd you do? Jump ship? What? Well, what's with the life preserver? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tab, I can't give you a tab unless you order something. All right, give me a Pepsi free. You want a Pepsi, pal? You're gonna pay for it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I see. Hey, McFly. Oh. What do you think you're doing? Hey, I'm talking to you, McFly, you Irish bug. Oh, hey, Biff. Hey, guys, how are you doing? Yeah, you got my <gasps> homework finished, McFly? Uh, well, actually, oh I figured God. since it wasn't due That's till what, Monday. Uh, Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hello? Anybody home? So this has been happening for 30 years. Jesus. That's like the exact same conversation. What, yeah? Well, now, of course not. No, if I wouldn't no. want that to happen. What are you looking at, butthead? What? <laughs> You're George McFly. Stand tall, boy. Yeah. Have some respect for yourself. Yeah. Don't you know if you let people walk over you now, they'll be walking over you for the rest of your life. Oh, Look God. You think I'm gonna spend the rest of my life in this slop house? Watch it, Goldie. No, sir. I'm gonna make something of myself. I'm going to night school, and one day I'm gonna be somebody. That's right. Uh, He's gonna be mayor. Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> mayor. Oh, <laughs> the goat. Yeah. Oh my God. So, so if if he had traveled back in time and suggested mm. being mayor, man, Goldie Wilson, <laughs> like the sound of that. <laughs> Then he would never be, yeah. So then he was always meant to go back in time then. Oh god, yeah, don't get me started on time travel paradox paradoxes? Mm. Paradoxes? Paradox What is he doing? Oh my god. Really, buddy? Wow. Okay, well I liked him until now. He's both spineless and a creep. He's a peeping Tom. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. oh, Dad! That's how that happens. Oh. Oh, ow, he smacked his head. Yeah, he ow. really... 
knocked his head on the cement there. Oh, so did wait. he just prevent his father from meeting his mother? If that was his grandpa, then yes. If like, that's, well, clearly, like, that's the event. The, the guy was clearly about to get hit by the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was the day? What are the odds? But that was the day. I mean, that's his dad's just always gets hit by cars all the time. <laughs> You're my mom. <gasps> my name is Lorraine. Lorraine Bates. But you're uh, you're so uh, you're so. Did you say hot? Yeah. What was he trying to say there? Calvin, why why do you keep calling me Calvin? <laughs> well, that is your name, isn't it, Calvin Klein? Oh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's a, a big bruise you're you touchy. have there. Oh, wow. oh, are you up there? Oh my God, it's my mother. <laughs> Uh huh. So mom is a little frisky. Or just boy crazy. Did you see behind, like, around her mirror? It was just like yeah pictures. Is that is that why she's so like uptight in the future? Uh, she who protests too much. Oh maybe. So you're my uncle Joey. <laughs> Joe Bird. <laughs> behind bars. <laughs> he cries whenever we take him out, so we just leave him in there all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. This is a classic. This is uh, where Ralph dresses up as a man from space. What do you mean you've seen this? It's brand new. <laughs> that kid's great. Yeah. It's a rerun. <laughs> What's a rerun? Don't you think he ought to spend the night? And he can sleep in my room? Oh my, oh my god. Oh no, my no, god. No, no, no. No, thank you. No. Wow, she is thirsty. He's an idiot. <laughs> Comes from upbringing. <laughs> Parents are probably idiots too. <laughs> Brain, you ever have a kid who acts that way? I'll disown you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, I really hope this doesn't go down the Futurama route. What's that? Where Fry is his own grandfather? If she's my grandmother, who's my grandfather? Isn't it obvious? You are! You were standing on your toilet and you were hanging a clock and right. you fell and you hit your head on the sink. And that's when he came up with the idea for the flux capacitor, which is what makes time travel possible. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because if it just happened that day, there's no way anyone would know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, okay, so he didn't believe him about time travel because he just, he didn't know what the, the flux thing he did right he just thought it up yeah and then okay. someone knocks on the door and immediately okay. tells you that it will work yeah yeah, yeah. crazy right. that's weird to see your own kind of future invention mm -hmm. that you just thought of <laughs> I'm like, well, that was easy <laughs> why that's me look at me i'm an old man <laughs> i mean yeah, he's already kind of... A portable television studio. Oh, yeah. No wonder your president has to be an actor. He's got to look good on television. Hmm. <laughs> 1.21 gigawatts! 1.21 gigawatts! <laughs> His future self is the reason he says it wrong in the past. Oh, my God. Are you sure it's it's gigawatts? Yeah, it's, it's definitely gigawatts. Look what you wrote here, Doc. I mean, that says it all. Marty, I'm sorry, but the only power source capable of generating 1.21 gigawatts of electricity is a bolt of lightning. Oh, that's why the paper was in the foreground. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That a bolt of lightning is going to strike the clock tower precisely 10.04 p.m. next Saturday night. Marty, have you interacted with anybody else today mm -hmm. besides me? Like a bunch of people. I'm... Yeah, well, I might have sort of bumped into my parents. Great Scott! <laughs> oh. Okay, oh, because because he he got hit by the car and not his dad. Right, so, so they now, never meet, and then he And now they, they won't, none, yeah. Oh, my God. Why is it not instantaneous? I mean, his brother was, like, the oldest, right? It went, like, his brother, his sister, and he's the youngest? Or maybe it's probability. What do you mean? Like, each time he interferes, it reduces the probability of the meeting. Oh. So then less and less children will exist. Your 
slacker. Do you want to be a slacker for the rest of your life? Why is him being blamed? Yeah, oh my god. It me with the car. <laughs> That's the Florence Nightingale effect. It happens in hospitals when nurses fall in love with their patients. Go to it, kid. Calvin! <laughs> Jesus. I'd like you to meet my good friend George McFly. Hi. It's really a pleasure to meet you. Oh, oh no. No, she doesn't even see him. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Boy. Gosh, she didn't even look at him. This is more serious than I thought. Apparently, your mother is amorously infatuated with you instead of your father. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. Doc, are you trying to tell me that my mother has got the hots for me? What, you're not noticing? Look, there's a rhythmic ceremonial ritual coming up. <laughs> rhythmic ceremonial ritual. It says dance right there. Why does he have to say? You stick to your father like glue <sighs> and make sure he takes you to that dance. George, buddy. Yes, hi. <laughs> you want it. You know you want it. You know you want me to give it to you. <laughs> Such a filthy mouth. I'm not that kind of girl. Oh my Jeez. god. <laughs> Why do you keep following me around? Look, nor anybody else on this planet is going to make me change my mind. Ah! It's fiction. He's getting more certain, right? The dad. So the probability goes down. That's my guess. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I see. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> awesome. My name is Darth Vader. <laughs> okay. Last night, Darth Vader came down <laughs> from Planet Falcon and told me that if I didn't take Lorraine out, that he'd melt my brain. Yeah. Go in there and invite her. What if, what if? His dad is the creator of Star Wars in this <laughs> world. His name's George. Yeah. Tell her destiny brought you together. Tell her that she is the most beautiful girl you've ever seen in the world. Oh, the performance is great. I can just imagine how sweaty he is. Just like nervous flop sweat, you know? Yeah. Yeah, he's great. Give me a milk. <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> Now you have milk breath. My density has brought me to you. Did he say density? Yes. Yes. I'm George. <laughs> George McFly. I'm your density. <laughs> your destiny. And McFly! Is it, did it work? Oh, yeah, but... Mm. I thought I told you never to come in here. Oh? That's Calvin Klein. No! Oh my god, he's a dream. No! Yeah. Because he stood up against Bully, right? That thing he's on. It's a board with wheels. <laughs> he's an absolute dream. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> Run him can't ball. kill. Actually, that's. That's really extreme. Oh my god. Yeah! Oh. And it's actually shit. It's yeah. manure. That's great. But also, he was just ready to commit murder. Yeah, that's so messed up. Where does he come from? Yeah, where does he live? I don't know. But I'm gonna find out. <gasps> Sploosh. Oh. They found me. I don't know how, but they found me. He's gonna see his own death? Buddy, don't tell me. No man should know too much about his own destiny. We run some industrial strength electrical cable from the top of the clock tower. Meanwhile, we've outfitted the time vehicle with this big pole and hook. We're electrifying the cable just as the connecting hook makes contact. But that's going to be like a split second. Yeah, the timing is... is, uh... He's Arteris, telling him. Please hmm. take whatever precautions are necessary to prevent this terrible disaster. But he's writing it. Do not oh. open until 1985. Right. That's a great idea. I'd love to park. Oh. Oh, Marty, I'm almost 18 years old. It's not like I've never parked before. What? <laughs> Marty, you seem so nervous. Is something wrong? No. It's not going to work. She's into it. Ugh. You shouldn't <laughs> drink. Why not? Because you... Oh, she drinks a lot in the future. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did you smoke, too? 
part of your beginning sound just like my mother. <laughs> That's a way to make her not attracted to you, right? Just be super uptight oh, uppity about it. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, she was drinking like just a cup of vodka at breakfast. Mm-hmm. Been in a situation where you knew you had to act a certain way, but when you got <laughs> there, you didn't know if you could go through with it. Oh, you mean like how you're supposed to act on a first date? Oh. Put your sweater back on. Yeah. What? I don't worry. That's oh, a very... Oh, no! Wait, what just happened? I mean, I'm glad it's over, but what... This is all wrong. I, I don't know what it is. Oh. Ah. But when I kiss you, it's like I'm kissing my brother. I guess that doesn't make any sense, does it? No, it good. makes a lot of sense. Good, good, yeah. good. Well, lucky what we have oh. here. God. Oh, no. oh my god. Oh I... god, he actually went in shouting nom nom nom. You got to take him in back, all right? I'll be right there. Admit. That's for messing up my hair. What the hell are you doing to my car? Kick their ass. Hey, hey, listen, guys. Look, I don't want to mess with no reefer addicts, okay? <laughs> <laughs> reefer addicts. Jesus. Are you addicted to the reefer? Call 1 800. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Devil's lettuce. <laughs> Devil's lettuce. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. But he's going to oh. punch. Yes, yes, right? yes. Please go. Hurry up. Yeah, seriously. I know he thinks it's an act, but... Hey, you. Get your damn hands off. <sighs> oh, right. Follow through. Punch him. Kick him in the face. George, help me. Oh, my God. Just turn around, McFly. No, Biff. You leave her alone. Good man. Yes. <laughs> I think it worked. Oh. They're still That's disappearing. Why are like they still maybe, disappearing? It's not enough? Because, like, his parents are meeting at, under different circumstances now, right? So. Yeah, yeah. Why well, we gotta play? See, that's where they kissed for the first time on the dance floor. And oh. This... Okay. Unless uh, you know somebody else that can play the guitar. Hey! He can. <laughs> <laughs> this is for all you lovers out there. Just, like, don't let her see him. Because yep. stand at the back. Like, yeah. Go behind the curtains or something. Yeah. Yeah. Guitars are. Oh, it's still not working. Scram, McFly. Cutting no, in. no, 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 no. Oh. Come on, man. Oh wait, no, he's like, he's, he's just fading. You all right? Ooh. Why is everyone so gross in this yeah. world? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that's oh. oh. He's actually going transparent. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she was actually calling after him, right? So... Yeah. She's not just jumping from ship to ship. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this, uh, this is an oldie. But, uh... Well, it, it's an oldie where I come from. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> this is Johnny Be Good, right? Or Go Johnny Go or something like that. Way down in Louisiana, down in I remember a &W used to play this a lot. Oh? Your cousin Marvin Barry, you know oh. that new sound? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little, a little much for that time. Yeah. <laughs> Does he set the guitar on fire too? <laughs> Don't smash it! Don't smash it! Okay, time to go. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you guys aren't ready for that yet. <laughs> but your kids are gonna love it. I want to thank you for all your good advice. I'll never forget it. Well, uh, good luck, you guys. And one of them, when he's eight years old, accidentally sets fire to the living room rug. Go easy on him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're like, what? Yeah, but when it does happen, you're gonna be like, did we meet a prophet? 
Oh, yeah. What? He laid out Biff in one punch! I didn't know he had an enemy! He's never stood up to Biff in his life! Hammer! No, oh, why? What's the matter? What? Oh. What? What am I missing? Well, he said... Cause, cause the reason Doc is surprised, right, is because he mentioned that his dad has never stood up to Biff. Yeah. But now that he did, that means he's in a different timeline now? Mm. In a world where his dad did stand up to Biff? Exactly! 7 minutes and 22 seconds! Oh god, that's not a lot of time to set up! You find out in 30 years! It's about the future, isn't it? Mm. It's information! Wait a minute! You guys only have a few minutes! Yeah, not the time. Don't... I refuse to accept the responsibility! Oh! Oh, oh no! I got all the time I want. I got a time machine. I can just go back early Wait. and warn him. Okay, ten minutes ought to do it. But you can't be you and your pre like your two people, two of the same. Can't <laughs> just don't interact, right? Unless you're not allowed to go back to any time earlier than hmm. you leaving that time. Right. Yeah. I guess it depends on their rules. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> The car won't start. He's falling. It's not plugged oh, in. Oh, God. Okay, Jesus. okay. Got it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, connect it back. Let's yeah, go, yeah, let's yeah. go. Stop staring. Go. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. So he's just, he's just trapped. He's just trapped yeah. in 1955. He just unplugged the other thing. Oh, that's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great scream, though. Oh, God. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, then how does this work? Because then a version of him does time travel. Yeah, so maybe it's just... It's always meant to be this way. Like, Doc is meant to die, and he's meant to go back in time, and it's just a loop. It's just a loop forever! That's so sad, though. Mm -hmm. I, I never got a chance to tell you. Did he just, like, tape it back together? <laughs> oh, he couldn't resist. Yeah, he taped it back together. <laughs> oh, my God. 30, that looks 30 years old. <laughs> rematch, oh, 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 rematch. Why? Were yeah. you cheating? Oh. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. <laughs> That's all cool. See, there's Biff out there waxing right oh. now. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's really funny. Just finishing up the second coat now. Now, Biff, oh, he's balding don't too. con me. You're all waxed up, ready for tonight. Oh, my God. Oh, it's the car he wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Little pickup wow. truck. So just better life all around. I guess it works out. Stepping on butterflies. Marty, you're acting like you haven't seen me in a week. <laughs> and they finally get to have a kid. Nope, never mind. Nope. I was going to say. <laughs> Back to the future. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Both you and Jennifer turn out fine. It's your kids, Marty. Mm. Something has got to be done about your kids. <laughs> well, we're going. We don't need roads. He can't see through those. <laughs> Oh! It flies now? Uh, it's definitely oh my easier god. to get to 88 miles. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Well, if there's ever ending to set up for a sequel. <laughs> that was fun. Oh my goodness. I have a big question to ask. I'm not okay. expecting you to have an answer, but I really want people to tell us this. Hmm. At the last scene, right, when he goes back to... 1985 and you see his parents mm -hmm. was there at any point during marty's life growing up in that timeline where his parents go you know he looks a lot like that marty oh probably probably right yeah because i would imagine marty left a really big impression in his dad's life because he yeah. changed his entire outlook in life yeah and in 1985 they probably would have went new kid who showed up for two days disappears forever right yeah yeah <laughs> oh that's too funny 
<laughs> yeah. That's great. Yeah, time travel stuff is so tricky. Yeah. <sighs> um, yeah. but that was great. That was really yeah, fun. I liked it a lot. And really stressful at the end. <laughs> Lightning. And so many things went wrong. Everything that could possibly go wrong went wrong, and you're just uh, like, Gah! <laughs> yeah. But it was uh, good. It was fun. Um, so second one, Back to the Future Two. We probably should watch this at some point. Oh yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I want to know what happens after because they're they're clearly going somewhere. Something about their kids. Yeah. Okay. Right? So they go they go back to the future. Is and it have two, to save 2015? his kids or something? Yeah. We're, yeah, I, I want to. Yeah, I want to find oh out. Oh my god! If it is through twenty fifteen, I really want to see how they portray. Oh yeah, that would be really funny. How, how right and how wrong oh. it would be. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Yeah. Oh, alrighty. Yeah. Well, that wraps up this episode of Cinebinge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, thanks everyone for joining us. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the buttons. It helps us out. And if you want to support us even further, you can join us on Patreon. Uh, and it's uh, yeah, super cool. Yeah, come check yep. us out there. You can yep, yep, yep. Uh, vote for what we watch in the future. You get to support us and help us keep doing this. And you uh, you get full access to everything we've ever shot, as well as uh, exclusives, such as after our last Airbender and and The Boys and other mm -hmm. shows. You get to vote for other future uh, exclusives. So mm -hmm. come check us out. We'd like to thank all our patrons, as well as a shout out to Crazy's Relative. Thank Woo. you all very much. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.